Okay, the last part of section three, neutralization reactions. We already know all this. Uh, we're just going to kind of explain, look at a little more detail. So, neutralization reactions are just simply a double replacement reaction where an acid reacts with a base. Now, it's going to make water, but it's also going to make an ionic compound. And this is where we get the general term a salt, because the salt is, in terms of uh, acid bases, it is neutral. So when an acid reacts with a base, the two things that are produced are chemically neutral compounds. You've got something really low pH, something really high pH, and they cancel out. So remember, it's just simply a double replacement reaction of a hydrogen and a metal. So hydrochloric acid, HCl, sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Sodium and hydrogen trade places. We get Na with Cl. That is an ionic compound that's aqueous that we call a salt. And then we get H's bonding with OH's, which is water. Now, it's very important here. This is, we're saying NaCl aqueous because we know it's soluble in water. And then we're saying H2OL. We're actually making more water than what we started with. Not necessarily going to change, see a change in volume because all the substances there, we're not creating more mass, right? but we are creating, with a rearrangement, rearrangement of atoms, we're creating different substances. If we look at the next, next example, here's acetic acid. So that hydrogen on acetic acid, switch places with sodium, and now we get sodium acetate and water. And if we notice here, by definition, this is a salt because it's an ionic compound that's soluble in water. Last example, the hydrogens off of sulfate trade places with the potassiums, and we get the potassiums with sulfate and the H's with OH to make water. And for a third time in a row, this ionic compound, by definition, is also a salt. Now, we think of salt as sodium chloride, but it's not just sodium chloride. It is any ionic compound that's soluble in water. Okay. So when they say write the neutralization reaction, that's what it is. It's a double replacement reaction of a hydrogen and a metal. The piece you got to pay attention to is recognizing that we are actually making water, and it's a liquid substance. Second piece, if they say write the net ionic, this is easy, just like we did last chapter. Except now our end game is a liquid. So we got hydrogens and oxygens in liquid. Back here, we have hydrogens that were aqueous. We have hydroxides that are aqueous. There's our water. We don't care about chlorine. We don't care about sodium because they start out aqueous and they stay aqueous. So our net ionic reaction in all these is just what changes. And what changes? The hydrogen and oxygen that were aqueous bond together to form a new liquid chemical. The hydrogens and hydroxides that were aqueous form a liquid chemical. The simplest net ionic equation that we'll ever see. An acid-base reaction is called a neutralization reaction because of that net ionic. A, a loose hydrogen ion reacts with a loose hydroxide ion to make a chemically neutral substance, water. And that's it for neutralization. You got the full equation in formula form, all that stuff labeled correctly, and then the net ionic. Okay. So that is it, truly it, then, for the chapter.